first thing for the migration assay here we are assessing the invasiveness of the cells also not only the migration but also the invasiveness there because whenever a cell as we discussed before so a cell when it starts migrating so first the cellular machinery works and then the cell starts migrating and then it invades to the collagen which is around which is the body part connective tissue so it digests it secretes some enzymes which digest the connective tissue and then it goes through and it migrates from migrates from one tumor space to the other distinct part of the body so this is a cancer spread metastasis metastasis it is called so here what we are doing is the migration inserts we are coating with collagen 4 so collagen 4 is the basic component of the connective tissue so here we are mimicking we are making the uh, same conditions as in the body so the cells will produce the enzymes which will digest the collagen 4 and then they will migrate so in this case we are not only recording the migration of the cancer cells but also the invasive potential will be will be determined so first we did the coating with 1.7 microgram collagen 4 and then we let the inserts dry overnight so the next day so uh, the next day we took out the inserts from the uh, from uh, from here and then we put there the medium to reconstitute them and after reconstitution then we have now the two things one thing is the normal medium which contains the fetal bovine serum this is the normal medium which normally we culture the cells with and cells grow perfectly fine so we are taking 800 microliter of this normal medium in the lower wells and this medium will act as a chemo attractant to attract the cancer cells towards it because it contains serum which has certain lipids and which act as chemo attractant and here you can see that uh, all the all the wells are now loaded with the normal medium the lower wells now what we have to do is this is the migration insert and here we can see that it was coated with the collagen core so it is ready so we will put respective insert in the wells and now the next step will be that we have to put the cells there so here we have the control cells and then we have the Uh, the knockdown cells stem one which is a calcium sensor protein so we have the knockdown cells for that and then we will put those cells in the respective insert so it is 200 microliter with the cells 50000 cells and then uh, to note is the cells are in the serum free medium because if the cells are in serum free medium they will migrate towards the lower well because in the lower well we have the normal medium which contains the serum so serum will act as a chemo attractant so now we are ready and then now we will put this uh, plate in the incubator at 37 degrees centigrade and this incubator is supplemented with 5% carbon dioxide also so we let it for 8 hours we allow the cells to migrate for 8 hours and then after that when 8 hours are complete then first thing what we have to do is that we have to take out the insert and the medium we can we have to carefully aspirate from every insert first we have to aspirate the medium from every migration insert carefully you you do not want to uh, push back the cells but gently you can keep the pressure lower and then you have to aspirate the down uh, down wells the medium from there because we do not need it anymore so the next step is we wipe out uh, carefully we use the cotton bud and then we do the uh, we wipe out the unmigrated cells from top of the insert and the next step is that here we have the 500 microliter of 2% paraformaldehyde which is a fixative and we have taken in the lower well and then for 10 minutes we have incubated and now i'm aspirating the 2% pfa from there and now the cells are fixed on the bottom of the membrane the migrated cells so this step was the fixation of the migrated cells and they are on the down of the membrane all right so the next step is to stain the cells so here on the right hand side you can see the finished one where i i i show the 
stem cells. Here we can see that the uh, uh, inserts are stained. So we use here 500 microliter crystal violet stain in the lower wells first, and then we put the insert on that. So the bottom of the membrane will be stained and it is for five minutes. And then we have to wash twice first, uh, each insert twice with PBS, which is the phosphate buffer saline. And then once with milliq water to remove the, uh, the crystals of the, the phosphate buffer. And we have to let them dry the inserts for a couple of hours. And when the inserts are dry, then we have to count the cells and then we have to put under the microscope. And then uh, it, this is a 40X resolution and then the cells are counted from eight to 10 fields. So here the caution is that you do not uh, want to uh, count from the edges of the insert because there it could be possible that the cotton bud was not able to reach the corners of the, of the transfer insert. And there we have probably the unmigrated cells. Here I could see the clean, but if uh, the students do, sometimes you, uh, you have to be gentle. You do not have to break the membrane. And also the caution was that uh, maximum as much as you can, you have to wipe from the corners as well, the, the unmigrated cells. So here we can see the cells are stained beautifully and there are so many cells. So let's do the counting. And we have counted the cells and on the right hand side, we can see that in the control, there are uh, pretty much cells. And then when we have the inhibitor, and inhibitor means the stem one knockdown cells. So here we can see the so number of the cells is decreased significantly. And then we have normalized this data, the counts from 10 fields. And then we have uh, used the graph pad prism eight to uh, do the statistics. And then here we, uh, we can see that we have applied the t-test and this value is highly uh, significant. So the conclusion is that the blocking calcium entry into the ML1 cephalorad cancer cells attenuates invasion.